are at fishing, one of the things that Fish Columbia is known for, other than the peacock bass, the vampire fish, the payara. Now these fish have become really popular in the last 10 years. I've fished for them for, in Columbia before. They are built to destroy things and built for speed. They've got giant fangs that go up inside their, their skull. They've got giant tails. Their, their tails uh, are just made for speed and thrust and they are known for crushing everything in sight, slashing, killing. I mean, these fish are apex predators. Chasing, chasing some monster vampire fish. They've got the biggest ones in the world here, or so the legend says. Isn't that what you heard? It is. What it was is the this exact is quote? If you want, if you want the giants, this is where you go. Okay. World record? All teeth. All teeth. Big, heavy sinking lines, 10 weight rods, 10 or even 11 weight rods, big flies, sharp hooks, big fish, big teeth. And on the conventional side, I went a little light, except I might have to put a four ounce weight on. <laughs> You can tell just by where these fish live as you start to work your way up these rivers that they live in some really serious environment. Whitewater rapids just coming down, class three or four rapids, giant boulders, big swirl in the water. I guess he'll be right there. We gotta set up our... <laughs> what happened? We go deep. Very, very aggressive water. The water is really moving fast through here lots of rock piles boulder piles now for me in my head i'm just thinking i'm looking at seams i'm looking at white water i'm looking at back eddies and i want to just start to dissect this river I like steelhead fishing when you're just working those runs so i'm going to make some short casts i'm going to work the shorter stuff in here i'm just going to try to figure out a depth and an area are they in the fast water are they in the seams are they in behind these rocks i mean there's lots of different places for these predators to hide, and I'm just gonna try to explore that right now. I got a, I went with a cotton cordel. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I went with a bomber plug. Um, this has got some depth to it. It's gonna run, run down there in the area, that 10 feet-ish, where I think these fish are at. So I'm gonna start with that. Big, noisy. It's got a big rattle in it. It's got aggressive. And we're just gonna see, see what we can dissect. <laughs> Pyra fishing is a totally unique game. We go to class four rapids, casting big sinking lines, big flies, working the swing and stripping them back. It is not easy. It's a full day in the Amazon heat and it is game on. Um, you know what? Oh, hang on. There he is, yeah! Second cast, baby! That's a big fish! That's a big fish! Dude, he just tore my thumb up. Oh my God, that's a big fish. Look at him just tearing my lineup. We might have to chase him in the boat. I can't move him. That's a big fish. I know we're in a lot of heavy current and these fish fight hard, but I can't move this fish, guys. Like, I cannot move this fish. <laughs> this is the Payara I'm after on this trip. The fish burned my thumb. I was trying to, he hit it so hard. Uh-oh, so, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. I just about lost that rod out of my hand. I was trying to work around the rock and I was finger tipping it over and he just made a run and I just about lost the Okuma. 
this fish just tears me up. It, it burnt my thumb because I was trying to thumb the spool. He was taking so much line, rip and drag so fast. Gets it up and Silvio starts laughing. It's a foul hooked, Sardinata. Oh! Foul hooked! Some bit. Sardinata! Oh, it's a. Oh, we want a Sardinata anyway. Oh, it's not even a vampire fish. It's a foul hooked Sardinata. Ah! Oh. Well, those are gonna be fun on a fly rod later. Boy, there's a heartbreaker. The sardinata, which is a like a tarpon. They call it the tarpon down here. Look at that fish. <laughs> bueno. Let me get my pliers real quick. Oh, there you go. The sardinata. <laughs> he just hammered that thing. Okay. There you go, foul hook sardinata. He hit it so hard, rip line out. I'm sure it's a payara, and uh, they get it to the bank, and it's a foul hook sardinata, which is a fish that we're planning on chasing on our fly rods later, but not what I was hoping for. Well, it seems to me like the guides are hitting these spots pretty quick. Seems like if we're gonna get there and the fish are on, we're gonna get some fish right away, and if not, these guys are ready to move. So we're on the Orinoco River below these rapids. The Payara sit deep, so we're gonna cast out into the rapids. We're gonna do an upstream mend, let those sinking lines get down nice and deep, and then big, strong strips. These Payara get up to 40 pounds, big teeth, fight really hard. So it's game on once that fly hits the water. So we hop into a couple of these different spots and it's kind of slow. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised. Jason's throwing the fly rod, I'm throwing the big bomber and I'm trying some different things but I'm sticking with that bomber. I feel like it's the right size, profile, getting down to the right depth and you know, we can tell after a couple hours, uh, it's a little off. By this time, it's time to go to another spot. We've got two channels of white water, and we're gonna fish for a payara. Where the white water comes through, it's deep, the water's churned up, very strong currents, and the area right in between the current lines is what we're looking for. That's where the big payara sit, wait for food to be flushed downstream. With almost three decades of whitewater guiding under my belt, I look around, and this place is out of control. These rapids are class four plus, rock hopping island to island hoping to catch these giant vampire fish in the rapids. Oh, that's a big fish. Don't rip it out of its mouth. Good advice. Good advice. Don't rip it out of its mouth. <laughs> Good advice from my guide. Don't, don't, don't mess this up. That's a nice fish. That is a very, very large fish. I don't know how Dude, I'm gonna have to drag him up the bank and watch his teeth. Yeah. That him, usually cameraman. Yeah. Oh, he's saying wait. The one I caught first cast over here and the one I caught the sardine, sardine not on. I, I switched out a couple of times trying to get a different. How yeah. deep was he? I was pretty ready. You get in there and going. Oh, we get in there. Not too many casts in, I finally hook a Pyara. Look at that, it's like a mag. So see how that water's recirculating back upstream? 
That's a hole, that's a keeper. That would probably flip the boat. We're gonna be very careful around water features like that. Thing's so powerful, it's just holding me in one place. I, I can hardly gain any line, that's just taking me into the white water. Look at that, off again, look at that. We might have to get in the boat. One of the things I love about these Payara is as soon as they hit it, they come out of the water and jump. Give you a look at them. He just smoked this thing, came out of the water, boom! That's a big fish, man. Dude, I can't move him. I feel like he's just dogging me. Like, yeah, reel him in. He's like, bring him in. Yeah, just bring him in. Yeah, bring him in. Bring him in, we'll yeah. get a photo. Yeah. Dennis, if you could. Right here, reel him in. <laughs> Dennis. That's good advice. What should I do, guide? The way this works is when you hook the fish, try to reel them in. <laughs> then we can release them safely. So you want to hook the fish and land the fish. Right. Yeah, and then release the fish. This thing is so powerful. I'm cramping. Good thing I had some Gatorade. Oh, I can't go. Oh, it's on the top of his head. It's not He's found, yeah. It's big. But it's a Payara. That's bonita. And that's it. Make sure you know we gotta get photos. Oh. Well, that's why it's fighting so hard. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs>just cast it in there a little bit, cast it in there, and man, he just smoked that thing. It was, unfortunately, I thought he was a lot bigger than he is because it was, he foul hooked. He took a swipe, hooked him in the top of the head, but you know what? We'll take it. Work hard all day, fly fishing and conventional, throwing lures, and we we don't get a lot of fish. I got two. I mean, it was, it was really a slow day. We tried for some sardinata at the end of the day. Uh, hooked one good one, lost it, but that that was it for our day. We we're gonna we're gonna head back, start again tomorrow. Well, we're gonna look in here for some payara first. Yesterday we had some sardinata blowing up in here, so we kind of got everything. We got our fly rods, we got our conventional. Got my flyby <clears throat> Wild Bill sinking, heavy sinking lines, 40 pound leader, and Surflon Supreme by American Fishing Wire. When you're guiding, your gear has to count. You have to be able to rely on it. Nylon coated Surflon Supreme by American Fishing Wire. Probably the world's best nautical wire. Tie it just like your fluorocarbon. We're ready to go. Yesterday was tough. We had, we had very, very hot weather. We had no wind. Today we have a little bit of cloud cover. It's looking good. fishing for a pyre off these rocks and some villagers come by with their dugout canoe. I look in the canoe and staring right there in front of me is a fish and it's a pacu. I know the pacu well from Argentina. We catch them on fruit flies, they hang out on the riverbanks, 
super fun to catch. They're almost like a freshwater permit. So today, I see a Paku, and I know I want to go for it. I talk to the villagers. I have to know where and how they caught it. To catch the Paku, the villagers take a hook and they tie on fresh grass from the river. Most of the time they're herbivores, they occasionally eat bait fish, but if you're looking for a vegetarian fish, the Paku is it. They tie it all together and they throw it into the meanest bit of white water they can find. I'm not nervous. Excited, definitely. The chance to catch new fish in the Amazon is, is amazing. And I really, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing. It's a gift to be here and be able to try for these fish. It took me a couple tries, but then I hooked up. Straight on, there's teeth showing. After long hours in the sun, finally hooking to this Paku was everything I hoped it would be. So this is the Paku. Primarily a vegetarian, willy bait fish. Today, it was all about the grass flies. Algae flies, just like milkfish. As soon as I got the Paku to hand, we took some pictures and we're about to release it. And Silvio, the guide, said, nope, they need it. This is going to be dinner for his family and the village tonight. Yes! Persistence pays off. Yay! I'm going to jump. Oh, that's off. God, I've been standing here working this pool for an hour, maybe. I got hit once a little bit ago and finally just got smashed again. 